What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you on Rivian. Market's been open in almost about 30 minutes. So I want to go over some of the current data points, what's been coming out to really affect Rivian stock price and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So right now, Rivian is down 1.62%, a lot of volume. So 9.1 million shares have been traded. 31.4 is the average. What did prompt all of this sell-off was this damn rating. So there was a rating that came in from Barclays, a downgrade, and it went from about $25 to $16 for their price target. So I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that finds all of this very comical because the market has just been, I don't know, nobody really cares if there's manipulation anymore. Anymore. because if you look at what happened shorts double down pre-market so I haven't refreshed this so this is still pre-market but shorts did increase about 5.16 million shares so they are the ones that prompted this all off right here and I don't know how they stand to benefit maybe it was through options or whatever else but they increased quite significantly and I'll give you a quick update on the rest of it but 16.2 percent of the free floats being shorted 108.66 million shares overall are being shorted and cost of borrow average is 1.03 percent for full transparency i'm just bringing this up as a benchmark definitely do not see rivian being a squeeze play but the fact that they do double down and increase their position that's just crazy especially considering when the market did open you see a lot of big money wanting to buy rivian coincidence no like as you can kind of see 7.24 million that was a pretty big one but aside from that based on the bid the ask and the selling price everything was a buy with exception of the first one and looking at the ask which was 1588 and the price it went for which is 1596 big money desperately wanted to get in so this is just manipulation at its finest i don't know if it's technically to get retail out or whatever else because going over rivian as you can kind of see right here so looking at the ownership like retail does own a pretty significant amount. So institutions own 472.89 million shares, strategic entities 271 million, and other, aka retail, is 206.01 million. So retail does own a pretty significant amount. And most institutions don't want retail involved by any means. They just call us dumb money and whatever else. So I don't know if that was a ploy just to trigger some stop losses or just to kind of get retail out because obviously retail panic sells time and time again so it's just comical like i said so let me know your thoughts on that so far this morning there has been no news no sec filings the last sec filing was on the 31st and that was just associated to blackrock so a 13g statement of ownership and then aside from that the last news that did come out was on the 31st since then it wasn't official news but they did do i believe some social media posts about the r2 i've already done a video all about that because i do feel like based on the price point and whatever else that is going to be a very big catalyst for Rivian. Hopefully they do really break that down in their upcoming earnings on the 21st. Aside from all of that fun jazz though, looking right here, uh, options. So with the market being open, like I said, about 30 minutes, give or take, $1.48 million in calls being purchased versus 727 inputs. Sentiment wise, 50% of all the options being done so far are bearish, but still very much evenly divided. So I don't know, once again, behind the scenes, if big money is benefiting through options this is why they felt it was advantageous to bring the stock price up I'm not really sure but of the call options that are being purchased there is a consensus for it to be over $17 by the end of this week and I do feel like that's kind of justified if anything it might be a little bit higher because there's FOMO kicking in CPI is coming out tomorrow and if it is positive you're going to see stocks just rally like you've never seen them rally before and even in Rivian's case I do feel that it can easily get to around the 19 or $20 range which technically it probably should be there regardless of everything because I feel like over the last little bit, Rivian has been dragged down with the other EVs kind of unjustifiably, in my opinion, of course. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But as far as looking at the puts that are being purchased so far right now, it is anticipated to be sub around $16. So looking at some of the support and resistance points right now with it at $16.41, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So $14.47 is going to be that next strong support. Vice versa, $17.28 is going to be that next strong resistance. Very wide gaps 
gaps between these fib levels so you just have to anticipate that there's going to be a lot of volatility especially with cpi coming out tomorrow retail sales i believe on thursday and then ppi on friday so this market is going to be all over the place but with the fear and greed index being so high, so right now it is at 78, so extreme fear, you are seeing the market just wanting to go up. Everything in their dog. You can almost throw a dart at anything and things are going to go up. Even looking at some of my watch list, so Rivian is the only one that is down. So Tesla is up minorly, Lucid is up four point or almost 5%. Everything, like I said, is definitely going through more of a FOMO aspect, more of a adjustment when it comes to all of that. So I do feel that Rivian is definitely going to get back to the 20s, probably as a result of their upcoming earnings. But I feel like one thing that they definitely do need to address to really calm investors is give a valid explanation on the, I guess, miss on deliveries for the Q4 earnings. That's exactly what Wall Street is really concerned about. They're concerned that there's going to be a demand issue, that they're going to follow the similar suit to Lucid, and it's just going to be more of a, a spiral. And plus, Elon and Tesla's not really making it advantageous because they seem to be cutting prices like every like month or every two months or something like that is like happens all the time so that does go to show once again more of a concern that's happening so let me know your thoughts on Rivian. give yourself a shout out have you been buying have you been selling are you like myself do you find all of this stock market manipulation just comical at this stage because Rivian definitely should not be anywhere close to here and for barclays to give a downgrade on Rivian, that's just messed up because Barclays over the last little bit has been going on a rating spree, most of which has actually been very positive. Oddly enough, with Rivian, not so much. Other analysts, though, I've brought up under my channel are very optimistic about Rivian versus opposite with other EVs, not so much. So I don't know what's up with Barclays. I don't know if they're somehow correlated to the shorts. This is how they stood to benefit because as I've pointed out in the past, nobody does anything for whatever reason, right? I don't think they're actually feeling genuinely that Rivian is gonna be around $16 one year from now because they have to benefit somehow. I don't know. This is just me thinking out loud. No matter what, though, I do really like Rivian still, as I've uh, openly said. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And one final thing, even though Rivian goes up, down, sideways, loop-de-loop, -loop, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for an account with Moon with throw $100 at it, and you get five free stocks. So take advantage and just get those damn five free shares. Like, it's a win-win in my opinion. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.